my name is Pip and I'm here today to teach you a few tricks just as how to increase your confidence. So the first thing that I realised is that it has actually taken you a lot of confidence or courage to get to this point. It's not very easy when we feel not strong in ourselves to reach out and to ask for the help that we need. So first of all I want to say I really appreciate you making the first step on this journey and I do appreciate myself how difficult that can be. So as I said, today's first training video is just really starting at the bottom um, and I just want to talk a, really, a little bit about what confidence and courage actually is. So confidence and courage are often interlinked and if you have ever studied French um, you'll realise that courage is made of two parts, cure age, okay? Um, cure is actually a French word and it means of the heart. Um, and I think that when we look at somebody who's confident or who has a lot of courage, we often think, you know, I wish I was like them, I wish that I had their personality. And the thing I want to teach you today and a big breakthrough that I've certainly had in my life is the number one thing I want to teach is that confidence is not a personality trait, it's actually a skill. Now what difference does that make? Well basically it means that um, with a skill it can be learned. You see when you were born, you were only born with two fears and that is the fear of falling and the fear of of a loud sound. So when we look at our lives and then we realise that we've been conditioned to um, have fear or lack of confidence in a certain area, that wasn't always there because as a baby we, we weren't born with that innately so that has been conditioned within us, it's come from an experience maybe, um, maybe just from observing the world around us and quite often we end up with these quite dysfunctional beliefs about who we are and what we're really capable of and in this course I basically um, want to um, help you today just to just to make a start on discovering and putting down the best hands of, of what those could be. So first of all a bit about me really so why am I making this course and who am I? Well my name is Pip and um, I'm 26 years old I may not look it but I am and in my life I've had quite a lot of points where I've had low confidence um, and it's really affected me. Now that's not because I'm not a bright person, um, I, I am and I know that from the grades that I've got at school um, and from things I've done in my life but quite often even though I've had achievements in my life and you probably feel the same, um, there's been points when I haven't felt that those have made a big impact on how I feel about myself even though everybody else has said that's a wonderful achievement and you must be really proud. I have never really felt that. Um, so my story I guess begins from quite a young age um, as I'm sure yours does too um, and I've had a number of things happen, so um, when I was 12 years old I suffered really bad depression, um, I basically wanted to end my life um, at the age of 12 and that's not something I ever told my parents or really anybody else. Um, when I was about 15 or 16 I went through quite bad, I would say probably undiagnosed depression, looking back. Um, I have lost quite a lot of people in my life, um, I've moved around a lot which hasn't helped my confidence because I think quite often when you get have people taken away from you, um, you know, when you're trying to build something and then that, that kind of collapses in, it takes away your belief that um, it's worth that value and it's worth doing again. Um, so I've moved several times in my life and had to restart totally fresh with people which has not been very easy. Um, again, you might be the same. Uh, I've also had situations, as I say, where a lot of people died. So um, I know like having a grandparent, they died 
a dad's grandparent died I would say about four years ago um, I've lost friends, I've lost people who I worked for, um, I've lost my dad uh, about two years ago that was really affecting my confidence because you obviously learn a lot about people when they die which you might not know about um, and I had a situation where I learned things about as I say my, my dad that I didn't know and it really um, made me wonder which parts of my life were real and which were not and the reason I'm making this course is because I know in my life that although I'm capable of achieving wonderful things a lot of the time it's been confidence that's held me back it's not actually been my physical ability to do things because we're all capable of wonderful things and you know there's a lot of rags to riches stories out there that have proven that that is scientifically true so a lot of time it is our confidence holding us back and I'm not sure what it is that you want to achieve today maybe it's to get a better job maybe it's just to feel better about yourself which was my aim really um, maybe it's to just have stronger relationships um, a lot of the time things that we can't really value um, and as I say by teaching you today that confidence is a skill I want you to take that realisation and to begin to really change and make changes in your life that will help you feel better which is what this is all about so the other thing I just want to teach you today and the other take home I want you to have with you is that actually quite a lot of us are confident in some areas but not others okay when we ha don't have confidence in an area quite often we look around and we think that everyone else has kind of got it but we don't um, and the truth is there might be another area that you're really really good at but you're not able to portray it in that moment. For example, um, I'm actually quite good at communication and I don't often say that to myself because it doesn't feel right. Um, it doesn't feel right to praise ourselves and we often focus on the negative aspects of ourselves um, to the extent that we block out the things that we are good at. So. Today I really just want you to take on those two notions, this is just a very short video because the point of this training is not to be overwhelmed, it's to start slowly and to build things properly um, and as I say I just want you to take that home with you today and that you might be thinking well that's wonderful but what do I do with that? Well I want you to really have a look in your life and decide today what are the areas that you are confident in and what are the areas that you're not confident in because you might surprise yourself um, and if it does help to to ask somebody maybe you've got a good friend that you can rely on I only have actually one or two good friends that I can rely on um, ask them do I have any good features you know why, why are you friends with me why do you spend the time with me what what am I good at because there's obviously a reason why you, you do have friends in your life, they obviously value something within you and often they can see things within you that we can't see in ourselves. So those are the first two take homes I want you to have with you today. Now if that sounds like a good start on the journey to more confidence, knowing that it's a skill that I can help you to learn, then I just want to let you know that today we are offering a 14 day trial into our membership. Now before I go on and kind of explain really how wonderful the 14 day membership is and all that sort of thing that you hear everywhere else, I want to actually let you know what that includes because I've certainly been in programs before where there's been you know a sign up and you put money up front but you don't really know what you're letting yourself into and I've never really been a fan of those sorts of things so let me first explain what it involves. So first of all our course is for anyone who wants confidence in any area really in their life and we go from a basic system of starting at the bottom and building our way up so first of all we discover as in the video today what confidence is 
And then with the knowledge that it can be taught, we go on. So first of all, we discover actually where we are in our lives because the truth is, a lot of the things that we say in our heads about ourselves, often subconsciously, are not the full version of who we are. It's sort of half the version of who we are. And we focus, as I say, on those negative aspects. So first of all, we really have to look at is the way that we're thinking actually the truth? And once we know where we really are, we can go on from there and we can look at what we want to become. And there's several ways of doing that. So we, first of all, have a look at who we want to be rather than who society is asking us to be, maybe who our friends, relatives, co-workers are asking us to be. Um, and those two can often get quite confused. Often we're living out of somebody else's ideals but we don't often realise it. We go on to actually create some goals for ourselves for what we want um, that's going to actually make us happy. Um, for example, with myself, um, my mum is wonderful and she wants us to do really well, but the truth is I can't be good in all areas. I don't want to be... Um, I don't really want to be this wonderful all-rounded person. I want to be me. Um, and there's a huge difference and so we start from there as well. We also learn once we've taken the time to have a look at where we want to be and actually the things that we are good at, um, something called gratitude practice and this has made a big um, impact in my life, it's made a big impact if you look at any of the really successful people. Uh, you can look at this on YouTube, um, Alex Becker, Les Brown. Um, even people like uh, Madonna, who has had quite a turbulent past life, um, a lot of famous people, uh, even people like Stephen Fry who have really suffered with depression, um, Richard Branson who is dyslexic and didn't do very well at school, um, you know, lots of people and I will be giving you those resources as we go through and the course that's available and the reason we want to offer a 14 day free trial is as I say it allows you to go in no pressure try it out find a bit more about really what this course offers is it right for you and if it is great after the 14 days you can decide to sign up properly um, and if not then hopefully at least you've gained something from this lessons because if you even go home with just one or two things that make a big difference in your life then I feel like hopefully I've at least done something right for you and that's that's what my aim really is so if you want to join the program properly um, because I just do want to be clear it is $99 which is about £74-75 I'm from the UK as you can probably tell by my accent and I do just want to put things straight up front and that's why we don't let people join without going through that 14 day trial because I don't believe in in kind of putting pressure on people and I don't want you signing up to something where you're not fully aware of what it is so if you do want to join just for 14 days initially and then see if this really does have benefit for you there is a link below and as I say hopefully you will join but as I say, do go home with those lessons today. Number one, confidence is something that you can teach. It is a skill and you can gain it. You've had confidence in the past and you do have confidence in certain areas. And we're going to help you discover what they are and really build on them. And then look at areas which you're less confident in and look at ways which we can increase your confidence. And then second of all, that as I say, the way we think about ourselves is it's not always the right version and as I say we do have things that we are good at. Um, so that's really a starting point from me. As I say do feel free to join us below and I'll see you next time no matter what you take care. Bye bye now.